Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is September 27th, 2016, and we have an absolutely incredible story that we have been working on for about a week now, and it involves a Japanese connection to Planet X that actually goes all the way back to the early 80s and the findings, the original findings of this planetary system. We were contacted by a Japanese gentleman through a single email transmission stating that his father had worked for the Jet Propulsion Laboratories in California in the early 80s and during the original inception and discovery of the Nemesis solar system. He stated that his father was educated in Japan and in the early 80s was actually summoned by NASA because of his mathematical skills and astronomy background. Before he got to California, two stories were breaking in the newspapers pertaining to this Planet X solar system. Photographs, information, had already been transmitted back from IRAS, the Infrared Astrological Satellite. Apparently, it was very shocking to NASA and the people at the JPL. Some of the photographs that you're going to see probably have never been seen by that many people before. He did state that his father worked at the JPL from 1983 until June of 2015 when he retired. 45 days after his retirement, he wanted to return back to Japan. But he never made it. He was killed in a one-car accident on the Pacific Coast Highway in California. Cause of the accident is still unknown. However, this gentleman has told me that he was privy to all of the information that his father's team of astronomers, scientists, and mathematicians were working on since 1983. He said the information is very scary and all of the world governments are involved and they do not know what to do other than to keep things in complete secrecy. He has since picked up where his father left off with his research. He's been doing it on his own. He stated that in January of 2015, this mini solar system came into our solar system like a gangbuster, and they were watching the system from the South Pole Observatory, which they spent billions of dollars building. The system came in very rapidly, and once it was near the sun, it slowed down tremendously, and this was a time when problems started to arise. Apparently, they did not realize that the sun was going to slow this brown dwarf star down, slow it down tremendously. He stated that that is exactly what this is. It is a brown dwarf star, and it can only be seen in the infrared spectrum. He did state that as the brown dwarf star makes its way slowly around the sun, it will begin an exodus possibly this winter. He also stated that there is absolutely no way to calculate the gravitational and magnetic hold that the sun has on this brown dwarf star. However, it will make an exodus from behind the sun and out of our solar system. He was doing his own calculations to the best of his ability and does confer that by the early spring of 2017, we will definitely feel effects from 
the brown dwarf star, as well as Nibiru, which will be the closest planet in this solar system to the Earth. He said the government still do not know what to do because there is no way to stop what is about to happen. He further stated that the only thing that you can do is try to be prepared and that timing of this exodus means everything at this point because as the earth moves around the sun going into our winter months we are going to get closer to the brown dwarf star therefore feeling effects from this planet from this star and as we orbit around the sun going into our early spring months, the brown dwarf star at that point will start making its breakaway from the hold that the sun has on it. It has been weakening the sun as it has been directly behind the sun for about nine months. It's getting closer, and at this point in time, it's basically a crapshoot. It's a waiting game. And words coming directly from me, yes, everyone, I, I think it's, it's time to get prepared. We are seeing some of the telltale signs with the frequency of the earthquakes, troop movements, and uh, just preparation by the powers that be. They're preparing. They don't want us to prepare. We are already seeing some very severe visual effects. Uh, these photographs were taken a few days ago from the International Space Station, showing a very discolored atmosphere, cloud cover over the Earth. It's pink. Possibly the red oxide dust coming from planet Nibiru, which is said to have a very heavy red oxide dust cloud that trails behind it. I did ask this gentleman if he would please share additional information with me in the weeks and months to come, and he did say that he would as much as possible. I wanted to ask him about the photographs that everyone is taking from around the world and the videos that are being made about Planet X. And he did say that when the sun is illuminating these planets, there are points in time that you will be able to see them. And as time goes on, you will be able to see them with the naked eye. And that will probably be the scariest moments of mankind's life on this earth. His last closing comment was, there is nothing that science or government can do to prevent what is God's will. Nor can you rely on any information that is given to you by computer models or any of the information that is accessible through the Internet. The only way that you can see things is with your own eyes. You cannot trust what is given to you on a computer. It is being manipulated to keep you uninformed. So, with all of that said, I'm going to go have a few drinks. That's for sure. I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers. You guys are fantastic. I wish there was a point in time where I was able to meet each and every one of you. But I don't think that's going to be possible, and I don't think that's ever going to happen. So be prepared. Stock up canned goods, water, medical supplies, prescriptions. Use your head. I think that myself and my small team of individuals that help bring you this information every day, I think we're going to take a few days off and... Try to be with our families and try to get things straight within ourselves. We're going to go through some very trying times, everyone. That's for sure. 
you can continue to send your photographs and your video to our email address at nibiruplanetx2016 at gmail.com. I'm going to take a few days, folks, and, you know, get caught up on these emails, and I have a lot of thinking to do myself. That, that much is for sure. So I'm going to sign off for now, but remember, like I say, keep an eye in the sky. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is September 27th, 2016, and we have an absolutely incredible story that we have been working on for about a week now, and it involves a Japanese connection to Planet X that actually goes all the way back to the early 80s and the findings, the original findings of this planetary system. We were contacted by a Japanese gentleman through a single email transmission stating that his father had worked for the Jet Propulsion Laboratories in California in the early 80s and during the original inception and discovery of the Nemesis solar system. He stated that his father was educated in Japan and in the early 80s was actually summoned by NASA because of his mathematical skills and astronomy background. Before he got to California, two stories were breaking in the newspapers pertaining to this Planet X solar system. 